Yo, yo, what's going on? This is TSF Japanese with Stupid Fast Gaming, and we are here with another Blender tutorial. We are doing a steering wheel and some bucket seats today. Should be pretty easy. Um, let's get right into it. We're going to be using a couple programs today. One of them is Blender. Uh, go ahead and go on over to blender.org. Type in blender.org in your web browser. Hit enter, it's gonna bring you to blender.org. Download Blender here, and you can use it on your Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, download that, install it, turn it on, get used to it. If you haven't watched one of my other tutorials already, um, go ahead and the link will be in the description, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, let's get to it, blender.org. You've already imported our vehicle into Blender here. Um, we made a, uh, what should we call it? A, uh, we've already made a folder right here on our desktop. Uh, we've imported our cars and our objects into this folder. So we have our TSF steering wheel, our 240Z, and our TSF seats. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. So you import your vehicle, this is what it looks like. We import it, you can't see nothing. So go ahead, click on the window. You'll see it will highlight in blue. If it's not in blue, it's because there's, there is a folder here and what you're wanting are inside the folders. So what you do is you click this, this little arrow down and until you find what you were looking for within this file but we're lucky to have it right on top so you click the little on the right there is a little hide in viewpoint go ahead and click on that that little eyeball and it will hide it for you so you'll be able to see inside the vehicle a lot easier click on that one and go ahead and click on the other side and you can look inside now yes yes I already went in and deleted everything I needed to delete Literally, all you do is highlight the object, press delete on your keyboard, and your it did have seats in there, but I went ahead and deleted them already. So I'm gonna delete some stuff real quick to show you. So you see those right there. Literally highlight it, delete it is gone, press it again, so on and so forth. If you delete something that you did not want to, you're like, oh no, oh no, what do I do? Hold down Control, press Z and the object will come back. See, Control Z is your best friend within Blender. Um, so let's go ahead and import our first object here. File, import FBX, and we're going to import our steering wheel. Bam, there it is, there she blows. So it's gonna import, it's gonna look like that. Uh, go ahead, go directly to your move tool and move your object up and to where you can work with it. Um, this object has a steering wheel and a dummy with it. Some objects don't have dummies with it because they're not moving objects, they're just literally an object. Um, this one has rotating with it, so it comes with a dummy. Now, steering wheels, the dummies have to be within the dummy, or the, the steering wheel has to be within the dummy because if, if you put it in a set of Corsa, and you go to steer the steering wheel and the dummy is down here, the steering wheel is going to be like rotating like this not in your hands it's gonna look really funny so you want to put this dummy up into the steering wheel I'll show you how to do that so just go ahead and grab the steering wheel highlight it drag it down to where it's it's in the center of your steering wheel or in the center of the cap of the steering wheel as much as possible you, you can only get so perfect so eh, it's about perfect right bam eyeball it we're done there scroll out so you can see it and then highlight the dummy and the steering wheel at one, at all of it at once is one object and bring it down into your car, bring it over, still using the move tool the whole time. Um, whoa, whoa, sorry, I'm a little, 
not gonna lie, I've already messed up this uh, this video a couple times, so I'm <laughs> getting a little irritated here. Anyways, uh, go ahead and move it around to your liking. Uh, we're going to also use the rotate tool here kind of rotate it in, in a position um, be careful using any of these other stuff because you can really mess up your object um, go ahead and left click and grab the rotation on this axis right here and if it's going too fast for you as you click on it then hold down shift and it starts going slowly see so you're not gonna like get all uh, get all crazy with it so hold down shift go on slowly let go of both Go back into move tool and move it in position. Now I'm not gonna lie, uh, this is gonna be kind of botchy looking because it it's not exactly what we wanted. Um, I kind of deleted something I shouldn't have part of the steering wheel, and the old steering wheel. I mean, I, I could make something else, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put it on there and show you that this is how you put a steering wheel on. Um, yeah. Anyways, it looks like crap, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to import the next FPX, which is our seats, the TSF seats. Oh, by the way, the steering wheel and seat is available in our Discord. You can go and pick that up. Uh, the seats, bam, there they are. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull it up. Super easy. Seats are super, super easy. You just drag and drop and put them in. Put them in there. They're both two individual ob two objects, so you can just click on one and move it to your liking. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move it in there and move it back here a little bit, a little bit right there, and. Wham, bam, thank you, man. That looks good right there. Grab this one and position her just like so. Being careful in where you're placing it, making sure that you see how this looks like it's going into this object. See that? This object, you want to move her just a little bit so it's not in that object anymore. Bam, done. Looking at making sure that that both seats are kind of aligned evenly, height wise. So when you're looking in the car, but then that's it, that's that. And this is what the seats will look like in game. They'll say stupid fast on them, and that's what the string wheel is going to look like in game. Should look pretty nice. But yeah, uh, that is that. There's that is pretty much it for seats. Literally, um, just drag and drop them in there, and you're done. Steering wheel's done. Seats are done. Let's go ahead and export this. All of this FBX. Find the original folder that you imported the car in. Overwrite the existing one. Make sure that your your scaling is at 1.0, and it is unit scale. Uh, Z minus forward and Y up. Um, you can go ahead and pause this and make sure to, you know, um, make sure that when you, before you export it, that it says the description down here, that it says exactly what you want. Not like, oh, I'm, I'm going to do that and bam, export it. Oh, damn, messed up. No, right, make sure it's, oh, you're overriding the car. Export. Then we're going to open up FBX editor here. If you don't know, or not, sorry. KS Editor, not FBX. If you don't know where to get KS Editor, it is within your Aesthetic Corsa Steam folders. Go to Aesthetic Corsa uh, within here. I will show you real quick, actually. Uh, go to your program files. Go to Steam. Go to Steam Apps. Go to Common. Go to Aesthetic Corsa. Go to SDK. And within here, it says editor. There is KS Editor. And this is what helps you import your car and turn it into a KN5. Um, but let's uh, go ahead and head back to the folder that we were at. There we are. And file, 
uh, open FBX because that's what our car is, an FBX. And we're going to import the 240. Uh, go ahead and head down straight to illu uh, illumination and make sure you put clear, load weather, and go to default and load that. Um, then you're going to be left clicking the mouse, moving the camera around, and using your up, down, left, right arrows to move around the world while still holding down the left mouse button. Hold shift and move, you can go slowly, or let go of shift and use your arrow and it goes fast. So let you know. And we're going to change the way it looks real quick so it's not so like faded out looking, right? So left click your mouse till the object turns pink, or not pink, but purple, like a purplish tint type on it, right? And this is KS per pixel. We're gonna change that to simple reflections. Bam, look at, oh wow, it's like, ugh. Okay, so this first one, the ambient, or amb ambient, the ambient light, we're gonna change that to a 0.3. Uh, the diffuse, we're going to change that to a point 0.3. Oops. Point 0.3. We're going to change this specular to a 0, 0.2. And then this other specular to a 30. And that's that. And it did both of them because they're both the same material. It's just a, you know, copy and paste one. So you can go ahead and... Uh, oh, by the way, like I said, uh, you can pick up both of these objects in our Discord. Um, I'll put a link in the description. If you don't want to go through the description, we also have a website, stupidfastgaming.com. I'll put a link there. Scroll down to the bottom where it says Discord in big letters. Click on the button. Join the movement, brah. Get up in here. It's a party up in here. Anyways, uh, sorry for that. It, yeah, okay. Anyways, click that right there. Turn that to a simple reflection. We're gonna change this to a three as well. Change this to a three as well. Now you can choose whatever one you want. Um, there's no like right and wrong way, I guess you'd say. I mean, some people would dispute that. Oh, you don't wanna use that. You wanna use this or this looks better. Like, Do whatever you think you like the best. Who cares what people say? Just you do you. That's all that matters. Right? I prefer doing this. Um, yeah. Yeah, that being said, yeah. Hope you're liking the vibe over here. And I am still learning modding, so I'm not the best. But what I have learned, I will show you guys. And hopefully, <laughs> maybe you can show me something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Anyways, so... That is done. The steering wheel is done. The seats are done. The car is looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and save this. Uh, save car. Now in order to find that car, you don't save here in, the, in your YouTube. You have to go into the main set of course of files. And if you haven't done that yet, I would suggest you heading on over there and creating a shortcut to your desktop. You go to wherever your steam account is on on your hard drive program files 86 steam steam apps common a set of course a content and cars this is where your main folder is for all your cars go ahead and get copy this and put it on your desktop it's going to make your life so much easier as well with the tracks make a shortcut and as well as that fpx editor make a shortcut put it on your desktop way better okay so we're going to uh uh, in, in, was it in, 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 uh, uh, there it is, there it is, there it is. We're going to overwrite this KN5 because this is the car. This one is a collider. That's not the car. Some folders that I've ran into have several KN5s with several cars. You need to make sure that you're overriding the existing car that you're working on. Some have several KN5s with several cars because they've overlapped cars and made three cars into one car and blah, blah, blah. But anyways... For this tutorial this is the one that we're going to be fixing so go ahead and save that yes you want to replace it and bam saved if you getting an error 
it did not save it. It'll, it'll, it'll say error, null, blah, blah, blah. You'll press OK, and then it'll say saved, but it didn't actually save it. It, it rewrote the original one, went back to, to how it was, not how it is. Um, so if there's an error, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Go over here to the bottom left where it says materials. And anything that is highlighted in red means there's an issue with that material. So you need to go ahead and find that material. And sometimes KS Editor and Blender get kind of messed up and it within the process it, it forgets like what material is what. Super easy. Highlight it. Find the material. It usually says what it is. And you just open this up. Go into the texture skin of uh, the car. So see so texture and it has all the different textures in here. Find the, find the material. Click on it press open and it should be just fine you should be fine no worries so uh, yeah let's go ahead and go over to a set of Corsa jeez how many windows you got open bro <laughs> go on over to a set of Corsa we're gonna go ahead and go into the car real quick and show you that the steering wheel is there uh, by the also if you didn't know if you're, new to, if you're somewhat new to the channel and new to TSF or Stupid Fast Gaming, we got a couple of tracks that we've made ourselves. Um, you can pick them up over at stupidfastgaming.com. Um, it's all free. Or, or you can go to Vossen. They're, they're also in Vossen. And here's the steering wheel. See? She works. Okay, she works good. See? And there's, there's the seats. Pick them up free of charge. You can go pick them up in our Discord. That is that. And I uh, hope, uh, hope you like this little tutorial. Um, she looks good as well as outside. Um, but once again, thank you for uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. <laughs>